Yesterday was uh, September 19th, uh, 2012, 4.39 p.m. And I was returning home when we had a uh, drive-by by, by uh, Engine 1 of the Anaheim Fire Department. I'm approaching home from Broadway, intending to go in through the garage. And that was, I believe, supposed to be punishment because of the fact that I had uh, walked down uh, Harbor Boulevard in front of the uh, Anaheim Police Headquarters. Uh, the only problem is that their police headquarters is within the territory of the United States. And me being a natural born United States citizen and that being a public sidewalk, I was actually not doing anything wrong. But hey, what can I say? But that event uh, reminded me of the fact that I had forgotten to post uh, my uh, video on the festivities on the 10th anniversary of September 11th, which was September 11th, 2011. Uh, this is basically uh, going down Euclid, approaching Euclid in College, Maine. You'll see shortly here where I used to have a home with my parents. And as I was arriving home, I caught on the left side, they were across from the park, a police vehicle, and there was actually two of them. So, you know, it was a sort of the situation normal of knowing that this police presence was usually intended to be uh, harassing for me. So, uh, and it being the fact that it was the 10th anniversary of September 11th, I really was really kind of uh, disgusted with the fact that we would be playing these sorts of games on a day like that. So instead of crossing the street and going home, I decided to go around the little corner there and document which uh, police vehicles, the license plates of these two police vehicles, Garden Grove police vehicles. So here we are, kind of walking along. Main Street now, and we're coming up on, on the first vehicle. And you'll notice just before we start approaching the first vehicle, uh, the sirens going from the from the Garden Grove uh, Fire Department. So anyway, that was the, the drive-by by the Garden Grove Fire Department. And what they were probably thinking is I was just going to cross the street and go home. So I would have heard uh, this fire truck go by as, as I was entering my home. Anyway, the first vehicle that we passed with the license plate number was 1330148. And then I crossed the street and I'm coming along the other side. And this is the vehicle that was on the other side license plate 1261438 so this was around 12:30 p.m. Uh, September 11th 2011 the 10th anniversary of the September 11th uh, terrorist attacks anyway I proceed to go home at this point but then I, I was just so flawed and shocked and disgusted and that I just had to come back out again. And you can see the clock there show that it's 12.35 at this point, a few minutes later. I was actually expecting these two police officers to be gone, because that's usually what happens when if I come back out, uh, the police vehicles are gone. But these police officers and police vehicles were still there. So I basically sat at the, stood at the corner there 
until whoever was going to come out came out and it was uh, these two uh, Garden Grove police officers and they just kind of stood there and they seemed to be talking to each other for a bit and so that was the incident on the 10th anniversary of September 11th, uh, 2011. I'm returning home and there's a combination of Garden Grove police officers in the Garden Grove Fire Department doing a little presence and drive-by combination as I was arriving home. You know, the sort of stunt that's been pulled at that very corner hundreds of times before as I was either arriving home or leaving that home. And there's some stories about this home that I intend to talk about one day. Uh, so far I've been trying to keep this G-rated, if you can believe that. But in essence, it's just shocking that uh, the lack of respect uh, for the day and what that day meant and that you would be harassing an American on a day like that uh, 